hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we learned that how we can update these events using drag and drop so you can easily update these events and these uh, are also reflected in the database right so these are permanently changing so now the time is to delete these events so when we click on any events so this event will be deleted so for now this event, click event is not working so let's go there and make it clip clickable right so this is the event drop so let me uh, put a comma here so here you need to add uh, uh, another event so what uh, which event so we are going to uh, we are going to click on this so this is event click right event click and uh, this event to okay event click and this is a function like this and uh, this is uh, getting the event okay and uh, here let's console dot log and log this event right save this one give it a refresh check that uh, we are getting the events when we clicking on any events click and yes we are getting click and yes we are getting so uh, i forgot to tell you that uh, we are not returning this id first why we are not running this id first let me go to the controller and in the controller in the index method i am returning this uh, i am not returning this id so that's why it's not returning this id here so it's returning this undefined right so when i click on this it's not returning any id so i added this uh, uh, booking id i forgot, forgot to add this id so now i added this id and it's uh, uh, returning this uh, id in there in there right so click on this and yes it's turning so let's go there and uh, uh, implement the ajax call here so first we need to get the id of event right id and then what is the event event dot id and here we, we need to send the ajax call so let me grab this ajax call from there this ajax call here so this event call is going to on this so let me make this a delete delete and this uh, here we are going to we are not going to pass any parameter why because we are passing only id right so this id is passing from there so response and uh, uh, event deleted okay event deleted success and this one is getting catching the error so here we need to uh, create the route first okay uh, copy this route paste it here so this one is uh, delete route okay and uh, here i need to also make this so uh, des destroy okay and let me copy this and go here and create the destroy method okay it's a, a public public function and destroy and this is accepting an id here so we need to return this id here right so let's go here and let me implement this so it will work like a charm okay so uh, we are getting this uh, booking we are saving this into a booking variable so it's a uh, booking find this so uh, id okay and if we did not find this id okay and let me uh, copy this functionality like we did this in the previous one like this so if we did not find this so we are going to enable to locate this id and if we find this id so we are going to delete this uh, id uh, we are going to delete this uh, booking from the database but we are not uh, deleting it from the calendar so let's uh, go here and return this id to the calendar to remove this uh, remove this event from the calendar return response and then here we need to uh, add uh, i uh, don't need to make this response we need to return this id here right id and when we get this uh, when we return this id from there so it will be uh, received here uh, in the success function so let me make this uh, id okay and this would be a response dot id so let me make this uh, console log console dot uh, 
log that we are getting the id or not okay save this one and here we need to update this so it would be uh, destroy okay destroy and oh, i already told you that you need to make this empty because we are passing a parameter from there right so we are getting this event id and calendar destroy so our route is fine so delete request function and it will print this id so let's go here give it a refresh and uh, oh i forgot to add this uh, are you sure right so let me uh, uh, cut this out and check that uh, uh, if confirm okay this is a method it's check that uh, it's a uh, pop-up um, pop up our tooltip okay let me uh, i will show you in a minute are you sure are you sure want to remove it okay and uh, it will show the message uh, okay or cancel so if you press the cancel it will execute this confirm right so give it a refresh and uh, click on any events and yes now it's uh, asking us that are you sure want to remove it so if i click on cancel so it's not going to do anything so let's click on again and click on this okay and yes it's returning and saying good job event deleted so it's returning undefined so it means that it's not uh, returning the id right so let me go there and check that is it returning the id so make this die dump and uh, return this uh, id here so check that uh, we are getting the exact id or not so click on this okay and go to the network tab and in the network tab we are retrieving this 7 and preview and yes we are retrieving this 7 but uh, we are uh, we uh, deleted this stuff and we are returning this so we need to uh, why it's returning this undefined oh i'm adding this response so i'm not returning any response so it's a simple response right so uh, we don't have any id in the response object we are directly getting this id here so that's why it's uh, receiving uh, this id like this so now it will print this uh, id so grab this event go here and uh, yes it's not uh, working why because i added the dd here right save this and drag the event and uh, yes okay and uh, we are returning this so uh, any error so what is the error so let's give it a refresh and check that is that is this error is still there or not so update this event event updated no error and uh, it's a uh, yes event oh why it's executing this event updated so let me check that oh i'm updating the event so let's click on it click on ok and uh, yes now it's running the id right so if i give it a refresh so this event will be disappeared from this calendar and yes it's disappeared but we want to uh, disappeared at the runtime so how we can do this so we are receiving this id here in this id parameter right in this response so let me make this response not id okay and here we need to and call our calendar okay it's a id of uh, calendar so you can make the calendar object to at the top and call this uh, in the in a calendar and like this right so full calendar and here you need to call event uh, remove events and then you need to pass the id of events so which events you want to remove so here we are receiving the id and i want to remove this event right so save this one and give it a refresh and check that is it uh, is the event is uh, deleting or not so let's click on this click on this okay and yes this event is now disappearing at the runtime right so let me make this comment and give it a refresh and check that uh, again right so i don't want to display any pop-up so click on this okay and yes it's disappeared click on this cancel and you know it's not canceling uh, okay 
and yes it's disappearing right so it means that we are successfully uh, un uh, unable to delete the stuff right so in the previous videos we learned that how we can uh, display the events on the calendar from the server side and how we can events on the runtime and delete these event uh, and also update these event at the runtime so hope you learned a lot from this series and uh, let me uh, give you one more thing here so yes i uh, found another bug so i will uh, add this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye